had a lot of different grace armor sets. Millions of them. Trillions. They were way too many. And all of them sucked. <laughs> well, not really. Not, a, not all of them. As a matter of fact, some of them were somewhat of a meta, but just there were way too many grace armor sets on Neo, and nobody really cared about them. As an exception for a few of them, some of them, just a few of them, out of the bunch, were definitely overpowered and many of them, you would use them as part of the armor set. In today's video, I'm going to show you my updated version of my unbeatable dancer, invincible dancer, which is the Emperor of the Black Eyes. So, first and foremost, uh, we're going to be speaking about stats, we're going to move on, but before we actually do that, Allow me to demonstrate. This is how powerful the bill will be. Enjoy! Now that being said, let's move over to the stats of the build. What I would advise for you is to be at least level 100. This is the level 150 sheath, character sheath that you're going to be following. At the end of the day, the most important thing for this build is going to be having 99 points into Water Virtue. That is going to be a key. You can tone some things, you can change some 30 points to place them into wood in case you want to change a little bit of something that we're going to be discussing about a little bit later. But uh, what this is going to allow you is that it's going to basically ensure that you have active your subtlety of water armor set, which we're going to be talking about them on the equipment section of the video. But uh, more than that, uh, the thing is that this is going to allow us to spam our deflex. Yes, you will be able to spam deflex. As a matter of fact, that is going to be your best source of spirit. When you run out of spirit, then you want to cast uh, a deflex immediately to get it back. That is how the BL is going to work. It's also going to scale the weapons that we're going to be using. We're going to be speaking about them later. But you do want to have Fire Virtue just for one very specific spell. And now that you have all of that, let's talk about the spells that we are going to be using. The spells that we are going to be using are going to be this bad boys right here. We're going to be using Ice Weapon just for regular exploration. When you're doing exploration, this is going to be your main thing. This is going to be what you are going to be using. And then Ominous Chill for big enemies. Very, very strong. Very, very powerful. And then Unrelenting Frost, uh, which uh, this is what you saw <laughs> uh, of using in the clip. It was not that viable to use this thing because it drains your spirit bar like a maniac. So it just it is just not worth it. It used to be not worth it, thanks to the subtlety of water build. It is, and it's very powerful, <laughs> as you can see on the gameplay that I have behind you and all of that stuff that you can see. Now, 
to there is a keystone in here something very important before you actually deal a critical strike against an enemy you did notice i'm going to have the footage in slow-mo right here for you to see that i always cast my overpower burst before dealing the fatal strike fatal strike with the salty of water armor set is going to allow you to basically use as many actions as you like without spending spirit bar but you do not want to waste that precious time so you save time by using overpower burst first then you land the critical strike the fatal strike and then you spam either unrelenting frost or ominous chill depending on what kind of stuff that you are you using so now let's go about uh, the, the weapons and some of the suggestions that I would uh, give to you the past sorts of aspiration mainly because they uh, they have endless flowering the endless flowering is this thing that you can use to abuse uh, regular NPCs you have infinite block in here you cannot be stunned by using this thing and you can basically stun lock people behind walls and it is very amazing also if you want to uh, abuse your martial arts while using your subtlety of water you can spin to win which is very effective this bad boy gives you iframes before an enemy gets to attack you you're going to be on the next uh, position as well so it is very powerful it is very strong and it deals tremendous amounts of posture damage but you have to be lucky enough to get the pair source of aspiration you do have to have in mind that we want to use uh, dual swords because of the water scaling that we are going to have another choice if you do not like that you could also use the uh, regular spears the regular spears also as you can see right here not to be confused with the slashing spears the regular spears can be attached water scaling which is very amazing that being said let's talk about the gear before we continue with anything else we're going to be using the grace of the black emperor that guy very interesting fellow i invited to my home once and he didn't uh didn't come it's uh, very embarrassing anyways deflect spirit consumption again we are going to be able to spam deflect as much as possible water phase spirit uh spell consumption very nice to have uh like i said ominous chill is very powerful and you should uh, at the end of the day be have using of that thing before you actually get to spam it with the salty of water phase fatal strike damage again this is a bl focus on dealing as much fatal strike as possible and then spirit attack spirit damage 8.7 percent all of those skills on itself on themselves they are amazing and beautiful and gorgeous for a water build for a water based that build of course but the real king in here is going to be subtlety of water requires water virtue of 70 or greater to activate when you successfully perform a fatal strike you will gain subtlety of water face subtlety of water face performing actions that would normally consume spirit will instead consume no spirit and I had a bit of an issue trying to make this build work at first I thought this is useless because the animation starts as soon as you deal damage to the enemy and you do not have enough time to do anything else but at the end of the day this is very powerful and as you can see it takes three clicks immediately it is not viable it deals enough damage but it leaves you open and it is not viable to use it on itself so what w what is going to be happening in here and again you're going to have the background footage since we are focused on a fatal strike build what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be dealing enough spirit damage you deal your fatal strike and then when the enemy gets up you have use of the spell the spell is going to deal damage is going to not cost you spirit because of the subtlety of water and then it's going to also build the spirit gauge as well very important you're going to be using spirit attacks remember that we have our increased percentage on damage for spirit attack spirit attack is heavy attack the one that you have on y or triangle that is your spirit attack and basically it's going to drain the spirit gauge of the enemy that much faster right and since that is going to be the case you are going to be building the spirit gauge with that uh, spell meaning that you only need to get one deflect to get the enemy staggered completely <laughs> in stagger hell in stagger um 
Yeah, complete stagger. I was going to think about something clever. I didn't because I am not a clever person, but this is a clever build. That being said, if you get the chance to get uh, five level stars, you should. I will have a in-depth discussion on whether it's worth fives or fours uh, on in a video. But uh, for now, if you are able to get five stars, then that's ideal. But at the end of the day, what you are going to be needing as a base, if you do not have uh, your level five stars, it's going to be ice attack power, water damage, and positive effect duration. If you do get the chance to have levels level 5s, you are going to add a chill accumulation on enemies, which is going to be very, very amazing. Again, Ice Attack Power is going to increase the damage of our Frost Blade that we're going to be using during exploration. Positive effect duration, this is very important that we are going to have this in as many pieces and talismans as possible because, like I told you before, the subtlety of water, it doesn't really last that long. Right, so since it doesn't really last that long, you want to amplify that duration with this thing. Water damage, self explanatory. We are going to be abusing of that thing. And since you are going to be using ice weapon on exploration, you should always have your ice weapon. That is the main focus of this build, being a water build. And then chill accumulation on enemies, it's always nice to have. It's not mandatory to have, you do not need to, you do not have to, but if you're able to get that beautiful, gorgeous, and amazing 5 stars, then why not do? Why not? That being said, finally we're going to have base. Divine Beast Favor, that is going to reduce the spirit spell consumption of water spells uh, by minus 6%. It's going to give us spirit deflect consumption at 2.6%, but it's also going to increase the fatal strength damage, which is going to be amazing. Because again, like I said, this is a build very much focused on getting enemies staggered as much as possible. And that being said, again, let's talk about this BL. You are going to be deflecting like a maniac. As a matter of fact, deflect is going to be your name. I'm sorry, you will have to apologize in my behalf to your mother uh, because you lost your name. You are now named deflect and you are going to be able to spam it. And since you are able to spam that beautiful bad boy, then it doesn't really matter if you do not nail them that much. Uh, trust me, I, have, I, I suck at this game and I have been spamming this thing and it has been working wonders for me. And again, you spam your deflect, you get your fatal strikes, you use for a lot of enemies either ominous shields. If you're fighting against a huge, huge enemies, they are very, very susceptible to ominous chill because of the area of effect. When you're fighting against regular enemies, officers, and so on and so forth and whatnot, you are indeed going to be using the uh, little thing that I forgot the name of that thing. Let me see in real high, uh, unrelenting frost. And that is basically going to be the build. And you're going to be gorgeous, and girls and boys are going to love you alike. Remember, if you like a video, a like and a video is super appreciated. No one's told you that you're a gorgeous and beautiful person, you are indeed a gorgeous and beautiful person. And remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel before you close the door. I will be seeing you, goddamn gorgeous and beautiful people, in the next one. Have a beautiful day and goodbye.